expand in Taylor series the function fz equal to 1 over z minus 1 into z minus 2 about the point z equal to iota and also we have to find its region of validity right so the solution is the function is given to be as 1 over z minus 1 into z minus 2 so we have to make partial fractions first just write down z minus 1 over here and z minus 2 over here so first put the denominator equal to 0 we get z equal to 1 and hide this z minus 1 put this value z equal to 1 over here we get 1 over negative 1 so this is minus sign and then put denominator equal to 0 we get z equal to 2 hide z minus 2 and put the value z equal to 2 over here we get 1 over 2 minus 1 that is simply 1 so here i get a positive sign so this is how we make partial fractions let me write this as 1 over z minus 2 minus 1 over z minus 1 fine okay because the point is z equal to iota i need an expansion in z minus iota right so let me add and subtract iota now in the denominator so this is z minus iota plus iota minus 2 and here also i'm adding and subtracting iota so this is z minus iota plus iota minus 1 because i need the expansion in z minus iota right so let z minus iota remains over here and let's take iota minus 2 common from the denominator from the first term and iota minus 1 common from the denominator from the second term. So taking iota minus 2 common, we get z minus iota over iota minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 over iota minus 1 into z minus iota over iota minus 1 plus 1. Right? And let's take this to the numerator. So this is 1 over iota minus 2. And this become 1 plus z minus iota over iota minus 2 power negative 1 minus 1 over iota minus 1. And here 1 plus z minus iota over iota minus 1 power negative 1. So I got the format as 1 plus something the power negative 1 right so please note that 1 plus z the power minus 1 is having the expansion as 1 minus z plus z square minus z cube up to so on up to infinity for mod z strictly less than 1 this is very important to write right so i'm now expanding this so 1 over 1 minus iota into yes here i'm replacing z with z minus iota over iota minus 2 for the first term so this is 1 minus z minus iota over iota minus 2 plus z minus iota over iota minus 2 whole square so on up to infinity and then the second term 1 over iota minus 1 into okay here i'm having z minus iota over iota minus 1 so replacing now z with z minus iota over iota minus 1 and writing the expansion so this is 1 minus z minus iota over iota minus 1 plus z minus iota over iota minus 1 whole square minus z minus iota over iota minus 1 whole cube up to so on up to infinity we just need to solve few terms only let's collect this first terms so this is 1 over 1 minus iota minus 1 over iota minus 1 and now collecting the second term so we get minus 1 over iota minus 2 whole square plus 1 over iota minus 1 whole square into z minus iota right similarly the next term collecting this and this so we get 1 over iota minus 2 whole cube minus 1 over iota minus 1 whole cube z minus iota whole square and then so on up to infinity 
So this is equal to, if you solve this bracket, you get 1 plus 3 iota over 10. Then from the second bracket, we get minus 6 minus 17 iota over 50 into z minus iota. From the third bracket, we get 133 minus 81 iota over, this is, alright, 500 into z minus iota whole square. So on, up to infinity. So this is the Taylor's expansion of the given function about the point z equal to iota. And now to find the region of validity. Given function is this. Now where the function is not analytic, at z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. At these two points, function is not defined. So function is not analytic at z equal to 1 and z equal to 2. So therefore, radius of convergence is minimum of all right. What is the radius of convergence then? It is the distance between z minus z naught. Here z naught is given to be as iota. So first taking z to be as 1, we write minimum of 1 minus iota. And then taking z equal to 2 over here, we get mod of 2 minus iota. And mod of 1 minus iota is square root of 1 plus 1. And mod of 2 minus iota is square root of 4 plus 1. So this is minimum of square root 2 comma square root 5. So what is the minimum value? It is square root 2. Hence, the expansion is valid for mod of z minus iota strictly less than root 2. Thank you.